Hello, gamers, fake gamers, and everyone in between. I am back. It is Matt, right hey, here. There's Matt, and it's me. It's Andrew. It's my hand. Andrew's hands are much higher and much, uh, no, much pinker. They're just bigger. And, uh, <laughs> and <laughs> so I recently looked at a one of these this supply power catalogs, super power supply catalogs from Nintendo Power, and had such a good response. Figured I'd look at another one from my own personal collection. This is mine from when I was just a baby, Andrew. From 1995, summer. Summer, so. I was a literal baby, I was one years old. One years old, now, Matt, I don't even know what we're looking at here. So, I see a basketball, I see a person, all bent out of shape, I, I, really, I really don't know what this is. Well, you're gonna be very bent out of shape in a minute. So back in the day, there were these catalogs. Uh, Nintendo Power had exclusive Merch you can only get through what? these catalogs. Is this a uh, okay? Oh, it's a, a catalog. What is a catalog? Is it like a web page, like Etsy or eBay? It's like Amazon on paper. Oh. So you would get these super power stamps, and you would clip them out and send them in. Power stamps. You supposed uh, to cut that out of it? Yeah, and there yeah. were these were in the magazines too. Sometimes these came in games. I so think. So most of these catalogs have been cut up. I would assume so. Yeah. Wow. Okay. But I never had enough stamps to ever send anything in. Although I do have a couple loose power stamps somewhere. Wow, look at this stuff. So we got a, what do you got? A spinal poster from, I think it's Killer Instinct 1? Yeah, the first I, Killer I Instinct take game. take word on it. Uh, God, my thumb is dirty from the, uh, <laughs> they moving really? around the bass drum pedal. Oh yeah, we had to move a lot of stuff to get this table here. A guy who throws flaming skulls and has moves up the wazoo, now that we, now that, is what we call fine art. A huge image of Spinal and Bee Orchid. So Bee Orchid's the one with the uh, giant honkers. <laughs> the big green boobies. Uh, and so that was a $7 poster, but I, I, the stamps were Poor worth... Uh, Dude, seven bucks for a 20 by 27 poster, oh. that's a steal. So this is one stamp, I think, this has one twentieth of a cent as the cash value, so you would need a bunch of... Oh my God, Yeah, that's like an insane amount. It's like yeah. V-Bucks. It's kind of a scam. Uh, you got the full war hat. And you can't nice buy embroidered this stuff? Hat. This stuff was only available, I mean, may, uh, there was a Nintendo store in New York at, at the time, I think, and, but I mean, in the States, I'm not sure where you'd get this stuff otherwise. Only from these, these small, cat. Where, and the, how did you get these catalogs? They came with my Nintendo Power subscription. Oh, okay, very cool. They got the Killer Instinct hotline you can call in case you want to get some uh, KI tips. 1-800-KILL-INST. There's a... Uh, this actually says the furthest, furthest thing from fine art. Oh. Uh, is this a, a full mask or is this like... It's, it's actually a full gore mask is his name. <laughs> oh, wow. This Halloween, why not slip on a latex mask and become a futuristic knight of terror in shining armor? The front and back slip easily over your head and it includes a ponytail as well as those menacing red eyes of doom. Recommended for anyone over eight years of age, one size fits all. That's brutal. That is so cool. I'll bet that would not fit my enormous melon. I, I really doubt that would fit anybody's melon. Uh, what do you think of the, these fucking medallions? They look really good. Would you pay 12 bucks for a medallion? I really wouldn't. This, that looks bad. I feel yeah. Like, look at those eyes. That's rough. There was a, um, that reminds me of, I was looking for it. I thought I had one. There was a, a collectible big old coin that came with Smash 4. Mm -hmm. That was like a pre-order bonus at Best Buy. Or maybe it was everywhere. And I thought I had one but that's what that reminds me of. They're really good. Put a clip of them right here. I like the uh, the full gore shirt a lot, actually. That'd be a pretty badass to have now. Uh, I got, wow, an uncut sheet of collectible trading cards. Do the math. Six times 10 is 60 cards. It's a lot of cards. Yeah, couple, so there's all these. Got a significant amount of doubles, but whatever. The next best thing to a nose ring and a whole lot less painful. So these, 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 <laughs> these cheeky, you know, that they're doing the attitude. Nose rings. <laughs> Cool stuff without the hassle of mar ma ma mall parking. Sweet. <laughs> uh, yeah. Man, I just I like the watch. Oh my God, banana slammer! What is this? This is awesome. What so is a that? six foot is by that big ugly dome in the in the shop right is. here. <laughs> I have really bad eyes, so I'm like, wow, cool, Matt. Let me check out that <laughs> magazine. Um, what a banana boat! Like the like the sunscreen I have to apply every single day of the year, or else I get burned. In Donkey Kong Country, bananas are the name of the game. This durable, high quality boat is the king banana, the ultimate DKC reward. So it's it's six foot by two, six by five. It kind of looks like a it's, well six six foot five inches by two foot four inches. Wow, and you're it's a, like a little like that's pretty 
That's sizable. I would love that. That's, oh my God, can you imagine? How many people do you think still have one of those? I bet they're made out of really not great materials. It came so with a patch kit. Oh, wow. Um, I bet like, I don't know, I feel like it's such a risky thing. Like, I, I feel like there can't be many of those in the wild. No, like, imagine, for such a large promotional item, I feel like they wouldn't make a lot to begin with. God, that's so cool. We should check out eBay. Or what else do we have here? The, uh, the, the embroidered Donkey Kong hat is pretty sick. That's really cool. I would actually wear that backwards. Uh, not as cool as the Funky Kong shades and bandana, so you can look just like Funky Kong. <laughs> the soundtrack, which, I mean... I think that's DK one of the best jams? Uh, soundtracks. Oh my god, Game County? soundtracks, yeah. yeah. 10 out of 10. Uh, don't worry, it isn't country music. It's hot <laughs> jungle vibe. Ooh. And no bloops or bleeps here. It's 23 tracks of game music like you've never heard before. Okay. It is one of the best soundtracks. Donkey Kong Country is a pretty infallible uh, soundtrack. It's pretty dope. You got the Diddy hat. It'd Dude. be better if it looked just like the, the actual Diddy hat, but it's close. Yeah. Uh, what to wear? What to wear? A Diddy tank? You could wear a Diddy Kong tank top. This, this You could actually just dress up like Diddy Kong. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. No, uh, okay. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta get your Diddy Kong tank and put it with your full gore mask. <laughs> and put it together just like your, a fucking freak. Your killer Instinct watch. Uh, and of course you get this fake dog tag. These I don't really so, believe in stolen valor, you know, so I wouldn't so, wear that. What's that? <laughs> you know, that's really, that's really uh, proper of you. Oh, man. Okay, so these this little ID tag... Jordan Hill, friend of the show, he had saved up a bunch of GameStop rewards points, I think, and he used them to redeem, he redeemed them and he bought a ton of like actually kind of cool stuff. And he gave me and a couple of our other friends uh, a little dog tag thing. I think mine was Star Fox or something, 664, and it looked a lot like this. He gave me one that said friends forever. Oh no, that was originally for me. Whoa, what's this page? This is boring. Mm. What does this actually just have? Nice order? use of fonts. Yeah, this is the order form. Okay. Uh, hey, did you know? Did you see the two free stamps on the first page? Those are as good as cash in this catalog. So spend them now or save them for later. So yeah, the, these those stamps are worth twenty cents. Though. <laughs> I was gonna say I can't believe they say the the cash value on them. Why should you? Oh, wait order a minute! Them? Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Want a dollar? We well, already have two. That's because each stamp is worth a buck. Okay, so the actual full cash value is one twentieth of a cent. It says here, but. Okay, a stamp is a dollar, so it's twelve stamps to get that. Uh, to get that. Why does cool, it say uh, one twentieth of a cent? Th I'm sure that's some legalese for you know the actual cash. But they will value. give you two dollars for it. Okay. The, yeah, it's a it's a dollar. Anyway, what the hell is all this? This is Pogs. I think that you were too y young for the Pogs craze. Now these don't go into a gun and they shoot out. Are they just little discs? <laughs> no. Is there a game? Yeah. The game is. Uh, you get this disc here. This is like a mouse pad material, basically, like foam, you know? Yeah. You put a stack of pogs or milk caps, uh, in a stack. Okay. And then we take turns, uh, going like this with a slammer. A slammer is like a, a harder, you know, thicker plastic disc. These are jelly slammers. I've never seen the jellies in person, but, um, the point is you, you slam against the top. You don't go in to the side. You slam it on the top of the stack, and whichever ones you flip over on their backside, those are points you've scored. Oh, okay. And if you're playing for keeps, you get to keep those ones. Why don't you just, like, destroy it, like, with the slammer? Well, I mean, it depends on your technique. Maybe you maybe you do. Okay. Maybe you don't. Oh, nice. But you, even if you do, you're not going to flip them all over. Okay. You know? Wow. You kids in the 90s really knew... <laughs> what to do so this is a this was like a tube a holder tube that, that was <laughs> like very common you'd hold all your pods it's this play tube. it loud it's that's the, the, the play the, this the, is the play it loud era yeah man oh god the greatest cap set it's the nintendo hall of fame on caps a of the coolest nintendo characters on caps dude we got donkey kong we got super mario we got samus aaron we got yoshi we got full <laughs> They're really pushing the what killer. The fuck? They're really pushing uh, killer instinct. We got Kirby. We got uh, second Donkey Kong. <laughs> we got a really weird looking Link. What is uh, another Mario? Another same exact Mario. Mario what's, with what's Mario that? with the uh, that's that's Andros. Oh, okay, I couldn't make it out. Okay. So the warmer these characters get, the higher they fly. So th I'm I'm wondering if like the they're like a rubberized kind of slammer that if you warm it up in your hand, it might uh. 
hit harder. I don't understand how that would That's work. That's so strange to me. Maybe I, it's just some, maybe yeah. some marketing stuff. I never had a jelly slammer. You, you had like either usually plastic slammers, some metal slammers, and some... Uh, metal slammers. I can't remember what they're called. There's a, there's a special name for them. Super slam! That's what it is! <laughs> No, but there was a uh, a slammer that had you know, it basically looked like a like a buzz saw Whoa. blade. <laughs> oh my you know god! You I mean like a saw blade yeah. slammer that had spikes, and you weren't really supposed to use those because they would sometimes you'd throw it hard enough it would stick through the milk cap. And, what are you joking? No, they had an actual saw blade on it. No, it was. I mean, it, they weren't that sharp, but it was enough. It was enough like? to like you oh, know okay. puncture a, a piece of paper. Now, Matt, this is what I'm excited about: the Earthbound scented kit. Hungry. <laughs> Don't want to break away from Earthbound? Here are seven caps covered with pizza smells and game characters. <laughs> don't yeah, eat them. actually, that's really fucking cool. Uh, I love Earthbound. One of the best games I've ever played. You can do a little scratch and sniff. <laughs> Ew, it stinks. There, there was the you know I think the nerd covered it, but there was the scratch and sniff uh, stuff. Is that what you're, you're referencing? That's that? what I'm doing. I had that issue as a kid, and they did smell disgusting. <laughs> and I, yeah, it's been said before, but. The marketing for that game, this game stinks, is like <laughs> so fucking stupid. It's so weird. It's such like, a bummer. Because Earthbound, like, I don't know if that uh, like was good or bad marketing, but like it's a really good game, and like it doesn't have anything to do with like smells. I think they were just like, oh, it stinks. Like, what was our thing? <sighs> Back to the play it loud. So a color change T-shirt. Hmm, looks like one color to me, man. When you go from cool to aggro, it starts to glow green. <laughs> Go green. When you have so, all your buddies touching you. Yeah, that's weird. So if, if this isn't showing up on camera fully because it's very tiny, there's like handprints all over the shirt that show up like a mood ring. Yeah. Going aggro, staying cool. Uh, I'm curious about this. The color change water bottle. Whoa! Changes from yellow to green depending on how cold it is. How much <laughs> the temperature of your piss. Yes, I was going to say, I think it goes yellow when you piss into it. It turns out <laughs> it's all warm. Uh, this is th this kind of shit actually really interests me as a kid. The greatest finishes. It's the oh! it's just <laughs> there's more than ten of the best game endings here. So this is just a tape of the end of games. Oh, it's a That's so cool, dude. I would love to, dude. If we ever get our hands on one of those, we gotta like just do like a, a like a like a react thing. That'd be <laughs> I so would. I, the art what is a, great too. It's just like the just geometric patterns and stuff. Yeah, I hope there's a little like. Buffer before bumper before each that's like this is going to be the ending to Final Fantasy. Don't watch unless you wanted to get spoiled. Oh, I'm sure there is. <laughs> It'd be funny if it's just a super cut of all the endings. What's this? Uh, all right, we got the 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 mag rack. Those are racks for your mags. It looks like they look, they look like real long cigarettes. Yeah, so it's just like <laughs> I like that it's individual racks for magazines, and then the big boy, and then a, like a holder for your magazine racks. I know this is like maybe not cool, but I think this is really cool. Like I'd love to like if I was if I was collecting like how many things do you collect that they have a specific like thing that you can contain them in that's also collectible like I well don't know. back in the day it seems it like was a lot more common there was thing. a like, collecting was the fucking thing yeah. you know there was collectible everything like these collectible trading cards with the collectible trading card holder <laughs> buy them all uh, I like this this uh, nest this, yeah this case I wonder if you can actually keep your games your your system plugged in. Well, this is in the rack. It'd be really funny if you can. I, I, I feel like I doubt it. Thirty-five dollar value. Drop your system into the storage box, and you can play without unpacking. Oh, there's a slot for the SNES NES cords in the back. I hey, that's badass. Answered my question. That that is pretty cool. Uh, in in the last one of these I looked at, there was one of these, except it had a lid. So this is just like a rack for your games going. But this makes so much more sense. You can actually see the spine labels. Yeah. But the other one, like they they were. You know, put up vertically with a lid over it, so you'd have to like take it off the shelf, open mm. it, and then find the game, which that is sucks. That's anyone who displays a collection knows spines out. Yeah, spines out, man. hashtag uh, hashtag spines out twenty twenty one. Anyway, these are the utilities. These at the ain't back no Genesis of the, uh, games. Oh God. Um, what is the library? Oh, so here's some books. I always thought the art for the Super Metroid uh, Player's Guide was nuts. Wow, that looks badass. We got we got Craid, we got Ridley. The uh, Final Fantasy, what is this? Final Fantasy three, and uh, I swear to God, it's two. Uh, I don't believe you. There's something else I was curious about. Oh, the Nintendo Power Index. So no need to search through volumes one through seventy for info. Take a quick, 
trip to the index and you'll know where to go. This is an index of what games and what information is featured in which issues of Nintendo Power. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that I, I don't, I've never, I have so much like, or I, sh I should say, I have had so much Nintendo merch. I've had most of these players guides over the years. I've never seen one of these Nintendo Power indexes. I, I'd be curious about looking that up and seeing what it actually looks like. I, I have to imagine, like you see, you see right here, it says there's a $3 value. <laughs> Adjusting for inflation and the collectability and how scarce these probably were, it's, it's ironic. It's so funny to me that what was a $3 piece of paper is probably now like 70. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. If not it. a lot more, depending on the scarcity and, and demand. Also knowing that all these player guides were uh, $11. So this is like, you know, a third, not even, of the price. Yeah. A fourth, almost. So I never really owned any of those uh, kind of like game guides. I never bought any when I was a kid. Well, like, I mean, as soon as Game Facts came around, there's no reason to really do it. But, you know, back so in the day, it was crucial. And the other thing that, you know, the Game Facts really couldn't do for you, especially before mobile internet, was uh, maps of the games. Yeah. So that was one big kind of selling point for the RPG guides, especially. Mm. I know tons of people like their like their parents would buy them the game and the guide for their whatever gift, and it was like, oh, I got everything. I never got the guides, and I was always fine though. <laughs> so I don't I don't know what the deal was. Well, maybe you weren't as fine as you thought. Maybe there was a whole other fine. level of gaming success you never reached. So much better. Anyway, that's that. That's the summer 1995 Nintendo Power Supplies. Super Power Supplies catalog from Nintendo Power. It kind of looks like a brochure that would be in your hallway at your school that tells you about like STDs. Uh, yeah, totally, <laughs> big time. Well, cool. That was really cool, Matt. Thanks for showing. It. This is a uh, show and tell. Show and tell. Hidden machine. Machine. Hidden machine. <laughs> Hidden machine. Not gonna do a. <laughs> <laughs> End it before I say something stupid. Bye.